Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we met up with Professor Rowan, Dawn, and Co- uh, and There I go with almost saying Cody again. I said Cody that time. Because <laughs> I just said it. Uh, I met Sam at the Cannaway Library, and then we uh, discussed that we were assigned lakes. I was to go to Lake Valoi, which I'm in now. Uh, Sam was going to go to Lake Aquity, and then Dawn is going to Lake uh, Verity. But then there was this earthquake, um, and apparently, you know, Team Galactic blew up the lake with a galactic bomb and caused an earthquake. No biggie. So here we are here, and uh, we must take him down. We also caught a Gibble, our final team member, named, nicknamed a Drago from um, Dan's companion in Bakugan. Drag originally Dragonoid, but he nicknamed it Drago. He calls it Drago. So yeah, it has expansion uh, uh, on it, and I have a uh, bronze up front. So let's take on. Oh, uh, you don't battle me, okay? I don't care about. I don't care about your dialogue, Team Galactic. You're mean people. See, look what you did. These poor Magikarps. They're just flopping around. A Magikarp is weakly flopping about. Yeah, that wasn't very nice, you Team Galactic. Oh, I skipped through this trainer because you didn't make eye contact with me as I walked past you. Would you like to join the Magikarp and flop around in the mud? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, so here's some more Magikarp, and this Team Galactic Grunt says a very mean thing. She says, even, wait, I think this is a male Team Galactic Grunt, I can't really tell because the spritz, not that really, I can't tell if it's long hair or short hair. <laughs> okay, even Team Galactic has no use for Magikarp, worthless, all of them. Hey, they evolved into a really good Pokemon in the lower down at level 20, so if you're patient, you know, kudos to you. And I've actually raised a Magikarp in my uh, Pokemon walkthrough guide of Pokemon Leaf Green, so and I evolved into Gyarados, and it was a really good Pokemon. But whatever, uh, we set we set off that we set off the Galactic Bomb. Okay, so yeah, the, you did blow up the lake and cause an earthquake with this Galactic Bomb. Okay, its blast force, its blast force was phenomenal. Okay, why? Nah, uh, let's just battle. In the last battle, Bronze grew to level 35 and uh, Drago grew to level 17. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep Bronze up in the front though. Because all these poison types like Krogunks and Golbats are really taking some damage from, you know, Bronze's extra sensory attack. Um, I'll punish you in place of our boss for defying Team Galactic. Okay, we'll see about that. Okay, that was an easy battle. In the last battle, uh, um, Drago, Drago grew to level 18. So is there another Team Galactic Grunt? Well, I guess this is the last one, because I'm looking around here and there's another Team Galactic Grunt that we can battle. So I'll just finish you and then go in the cavern. Oh, you don't even battle me, okay? I don't care about your dialogue then. Tee hee hee hee. I'm just gonna skip over your dialogue like a big jerk or something, you know? I don't know. So, um... I think he start. well, this guy is Saturn, and let's talk to him, I should say. Let's talk to him. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. Uh, the boss should be pleased. Uh, everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. He is all shocked. There's so many Metal Gear Solid references, guys, in this game. 
I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. Hmm. Jupiter should be should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Okay, let's go, Saturn. This is Team Galactic Commander Saturn, the third of the Team Galactic Commanders. Yeah, they're all named after planets. Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. Or Mars, Saturn, Jupiter. I'm trying to say them in order, so it'd, go, it'd probably go... Uh, it'd go Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, then. In order of the planets, I guess you could say. So, he starts off with the Kadabra. That's level 35. That's pretty cool. Let's use payback on this thing. If... if you know, Bronze can survive this uh, shockwave, which she will, which it will. There we go. Payback time, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! Take this. Would you like some fries with that cadaver? Oh, you're defeated. You're fainted. Go down underground. There you go. Like everyone, whenever Pokemon faints this game, they just f go to underground, basically trying to dig for freaking heart scales, like I had to do. For an hour and a half. <laughs> I'll let that go though. From starting now. Okay, Bronzor. Okay, we're gonna just, um... You know. Or I don't know. Go to Inferno. This Bronzor is going downtown. To the underground. Once it faints. <laughs> Let's use the flamethrower. There we go. I'm singing along to the music. I don't, uh, although I'm off key, I know that. Dragon Grid level 19. Dragon wants to use, you know, use them when the move Sand Tomb. Okay, forget a move. What does Drago know? Let's get rid of Sand Attack. I wonder if I can teach it Earthquake now that I forgot. I forgot to teach it Earthquake if it can learn Earthquake as a Gibble. Which I don't think it can, but there's still a chance it could learn Earthquake by TM. Okay, Toxic Croak. We're gonna go back to Bronze. Because, you know, as I said before, Toxic Croak. Well, not really I said this about Krogunks, but Toxic Croak also, since it's of all form of Krogunk, it's also Poison Fighting type, so it'll be four times weak to Psychic type moves. And I have Extra Sensory and Confusion, but I'm gonna use Extra Sensory on this Krogunk at level 37. It, I, may, I might have to take two Extra Sensories, but it's gonna be super effective nonetheless. So let's see if. The, ah, okay. Oh, it's a critical hit. Dang it. Okay, let's see how much this extra sensory does this crow gunk. And I thought this game was rated E, guys. I mean, come on. The, um, the Takus Croak looks like it's flipping two birds right now. Well, it did, but now it's, well, it's still on the, it's still on the screen, and it's still, okay, now it fainted, and it's dead. No, it fainted and went to the underground. But yeah, it was like flipping two birds just a second ago. So, I don't know about that. You, my friend, are tough. Oh, I didn't mean to dust your dialogue. Thanks for 2,960 pocket dollars, though. Okay. Gah! Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. It shall like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Uh, Team Galactic will get the three, le three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of the Lake of Verity. And he just, you know, goes off and runs away from us. Yeah, there's nothing else in this cavern for right now, so we can just exit it, I guess. And what you want to go uh, do is actually fly back to Twinleaf Town, because that's the quick, that's the closest town or place to where Lake Verity is. So we'll do that right now. We can also stop by the house and talk to Mom, because it's been like what? Uh, this is like the 42nd part or something like that. So it's been like 41 points since we've talked to her, I guess. So yeah, let's go talk to her. And there we go. Nice, we can just talk to good old mom. Uh, welcome home, Steven. Are your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. Okay, cool. 
And if I tap on my poke at your screen, it'll update how bronze will not magically have full HP now because I healed up, obviously. It's not magic, guys. I think she says a couple other things. She's, ah, oh, no, this is the same thing. Maybe if we exit the house and come back in, she'll say something different because I thought she said something different. So let's see. Ah, uh, she says the same thing. I thought she said something different for... I had a hit... I had a hunch that, um, she said something different when you came back to talk to her, but I guess not. Maybe not... Maybe I'm not doing it right. So here we are on Route 201. Shout out to this, um, awesome music that I used in the outro for, like, 42 parts now of this walkthrough guide. da 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 that's really good music. I really like this soundtrack for Pokemon Dumb and Pokemon Platinum. The soundtrack is really good. Okay. So ask Steven what timing. Those Team Galactic scandals are after the Legendary Lake Pokemon. You gotta help Dawn. And we'll do that in the next part. Haha. <laughs> so, um, this has been then my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walk the Guide part, or Redo Walk the Guide part. In the next part, we're gonna save Dawn, and it looks like we have to do some double battles, so that'll be fun. So, this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Let's Play part, so, uh, Walk the Guide part, so I'll do that. We'll do just that. So, this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide. The next time I'm a Pokemon Diamond, we do walk through guide.